Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. I am back with a new K Beauty haul. A lot of you guys have said you miss my makeup videos, so this one is for you. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I just came back from Korea. I did a whole bunch of cool content there, and of course, I did some shopping. I went to Olive Young and bought a whole bunch of new K Beauty products to try, mainly makeup because I noticed a lot of brands are coming out with new products because no one's wearing masks anymore and everyone wants to. To look good and wear makeup again. Now before I jump into it, I want to thank today's sponsor. Big thanks to Isn't True for sponsoring this video. Now if you guys are looking for a cruelty-free, vegan and eco-friendly Korean skincare brand, look no further than Isn't True. You may have already seen some of their viral skincare products. Their hyaluronic acid sunscreens went crazy on TikTok, but today I want to show you their next big thing. These are their new hyper serums. They have three incredible formulas, nine cinnamon, vitamin C and retinol X these are designed to target specific skincare concerns and provide amazing benefits personally the retinol X 1.0 serum caught my attention the most it's been years since I've touched a retinol product because I had a baby and I was breastfeeding but now that I'm done with that chapter in my life I got started on the retinol serum this powerful serum is formulated to increase cell turnover improve texture reduce fine lines and wrinkles and fade spots and discoloration with its unique formula of retinol X 1% which is made up of 0.1% retinol 0.3% retinol palmitate and 0.6% bakuchiol. It's formulated to offer intensive well-aging benefits. What I like about this retinol is that it's gentle on the skin and it's not overly drying thanks to the added ceramides, peptides and TECA. Now to enhance my skincare routine, I like to apply the Retinol X Serum at night after I've applied my green tea fresh toner. This toner is great for oily slash combination skin types. It's great for regulating sebum production and it controls excess oil. It contains 80% green tea extract from Jeju Island and is packed with amino acids, minerals, and proteins. I'm a big fan of the watery texture. It feels really refreshing on the skin and it's quick absorbing. So after the toner, I take two to three drops of the retinol serum onto the palm of my hands and I'll gently pat that on my skin. Now, because this is a powerful serum, it's best to start off slow. So I use it once every three to four days and I'll eventually increase the frequency as my skin gets used to it. Afterwards, I'll apply my moisturizer and night care products. Now, remember to always apply sunscreen the next day, especially when using a retinol product, just to protect the skin because it can be a little bit more sensitive than usual. So if you guys are looking to enhance your skincare routine with a retinol serum, I have a discount code for you. Two, actually. Get ready to screenshot because I'll pop them up on screen. One code will get you 35% off Shopee and the other code will get you 20% off Amazon when purchasing the Hyper Retinol Serum from Isntree. As always, I'll leave the details for you guys in my description box below. Now let's get back to the video. The first product I got is this banana eye cream from a brand called Shai Shai Shai. Shai Shai Shai. A friend told me that this is currently trending at the moment, so I had to get it. So this is like a moisturizing eye cream with a little bit of pigment that helps brighten up the under eyes. So it's good for those no makeup days or you can wear it under your makeup as a base. So you can see it's got like a yellow undertone so I'm just gonna pat a little bit under my eyes so you can see how it just brightens underneath so I just dab the thinnest layer and you can already see how much it brightens up my under eye can you tell it's really subtle but you can see it. it's just brighter I look more awake on this side spread it out a little bit as well if I want to brighten up a little bit lower voila what do you guys think I'll just quickly do the other side the next product I got is a lip balm from Laneige. So this is a lip treatment balm. As you guys know, Laneige is well known for their lip sleeping mask, which is meant to be used at night. This product, however, is meant to be used during the day. So this treatment contains coconut oil, it contains peptides and adenosine to help smooth out the lips. It has a little applicator on the lid so it's a little silicon applicator which you can use to apply the product so i'm just gonna prep my lips with this oh wow well, it is very fluorescent and i think i applied too much oh it has a smell it smells like candy like a cocktail like a pina colada it's 
definitely got summer vibes. First impressions, it's a little bit thick, maybe because I applied too much, but after spreading, it is a little bit thicker. I guess it's good for the day, and because it's got a little bit of that pearlescent sheen, you can just wear it alone if you want glossy lips, or you can just use it to prep your lips, which I'm gonna do. I really hope it helps my chapped lips. For foundation, I got this new one from a brand called Hints, and this is their second skin foundation in the color Buff. There's seven shades available for this brand, which is a little bit more than other cream brands. I think the packaging is really cool. It kind of reminds me of like perfume packaging. It's very unique and fancy. I'm gonna pump some out on the back of my hand. Ooh, focus. It's very, very watery. You can see it run already. To apply it, I'm gonna use my fancy spatula. If you saw my K-drama and K-pop makeover, you would have noticed that this is what Korean makeup artists use and it's all over TikTok. So they just use this to apply the foundation. So I'm just gonna pick up some of the foundation using the side of the spatula. And then I'm just gonna spread a small thin amount of that in the center of my face. Then I'm going to use this new brush that I got as well from the same brand as the spatula, Philly Millie. It's more of like a flat, wide foundation brush and it's good for just spreading out the product. The makeup artist that did my K-pop transformation makeup, she used a brush like this. How am I gonna do my forehead? <laughs> I didn't really think this through, did I? I'm just gonna have to go in with the brush and try not to disturb my hairs. It took me ages to lay it, my baby hairs or my fringe out like this. So I did a very light layer of foundation and it really does blend into my skin really well. It doesn't look caked up or anything. It's very light, very blendable, and apparently it is smudge proof. Like if you wear a mask, it won't smudge on your mask. So I'm just gonna like see if it will smudge on this tissue before powdering it. So let's just press it in. It's very, very light. I pressed really hard, or too hard. Like, like a, a, a tiny little bit of it came off. Let me just fix my little hairs. Come on. Man, I see Pony Makeup have this hair and she makes it look effortless, but like, how does she keep it in place? For brows, I got this new Clio brow pencil. It's called the Sharp So Simple Brow Pencil. It's got a really unique shape. It's carved in a way that you can use it on the side to get a thin, precise line. Or if you want to fill in the body of your brows and you want a wider stroke, you can turn it on its side. So the color that I got is taupe gray. I wanted to just kind of match my natural brows. And another thing, Thing in the pack actually it comes with a refillable one so once this one is done you can just pull the head off and then pop the new cap and pencil inside okay I'm using the sharp side first see if I can just draw some hairs that's looking okay and then I'll just use it to extend the tail of my brow now that I have the shape that I want. I'm gonna turn the pencil to its side and use the wide a bit, just to lightly fill in the body of my brow, darken it up a little bit, make it look fuller. Use the bottom spoolie to just brush everything in and blend. This brow's done, but I feel like it's a little bit hard for you guys to see the strokes that you can achieve with this pencil. So let me just demonstrate on the back of my hand. If you turn it to the side, you can create thin hair-like strokes and map out the shape of your brow. And then if you want to compare the two lines that you can create, this is the thin line and then at the bottom, this is the wider line. First impressions, I really like the shape. I'm a fan of this. And the formula isn't too soft as well. Let me just finish this brow quickly. Now I'm gonna move on to my eyes. I got this new palette from Clio. It's the Cherish Spring Palette. It's so pretty. I have a few of their palettes like this. I really like the formula and their glitters are usually really nice. Oh my God, guys, I just realized that this printed petals aren't actually on the cover. It's just a little plastic sleeve inside. Oh, it would have been so pretty if they actually printed that on the cover. They got me, they got me. I'm gonna go into this shade, it's pure pink, and just do a wash of that over my eye. Now my lids are naturally a little bit pigmented. It's got like a bit of like a, a reddy brown undertone. So when I use pink shades on top, it kind of just amplifies that and makes 
Makes my lid color pop a little bit more. I just realized my eyeshadow color matches the background. Oh, and I also just realized that I look naked. <laughs> I'm wearing clothes. Okay, I'm gonna try to use the techniques that I learned in Korea. Okay, so I've done a soft wash of that pink. I'm gonna do a little bit of that under here as well, under my lower lash line. Then I'm gonna grab a little bit of this soft brown. It's in a nice transition shade, but I'm gonna just use it to darken the outer corners a little bit. I'm gonna grab like a smaller brush and go into this darker shade. What is it called? Spring brown. I'm gonna use that to extend the outer corner of my eyes a little bit, create a little bit of shadow. So then when I go in with my liner, it just layers on top nicely. I'm gonna grab this shade. It's like a, it's a bit more of like a reddy brown, but it's got some gold pigment in it. So it's some gold glitter particles. Not super obvious though. I'm gonna use that on my lower lash line. Back to that um, soft brown shade. I'm gonna use that to underline my eye bag. So kind of just smile. Then I'm gonna grab this glittery shade and just pop that on the inner corner of my eyes and the lower lash line. Is that the most glittery shade? It's more like shimmers. Usually they have some glitter particles in here, but this palette, it's all shimmers. Oh, I'm a little bit disappointed because I like having different size glitters in them. Okay, that's it for eyes for now. Next, I'm gonna curl my lashes and I got this really interesting product. It comes in a box like this and it's actually a heated eyelash curler that's rechargeable. And inside is the eyelash curler and the USB cable to charge it. Honestly, it feels a little bit flimsy and very plasticky, but I saw a video online and it actually curls really well. So this is from a brand called Silhouette, but spelt with a C. And to turn it on, there's just this like button that's gonna flash. And apparently it's gonna take 30 seconds to heat up. Oh, okay. It's feeling quite hot, but not like scorching hot. I mean, I don't wanna put a scorching hot tool right near my eye. Oh, it doesn't open very wide. I'm just gonna position it in. Oh my God, it feels... Why can't I see? Okay. Oh, I can feel the heat. I'm gonna start curling now. And then as I'm curling, I'm gonna bend and try to get a nice C curl. <gasps> what? Can you see that? You can see that it's giving me a pretty good curl. The only thing is I missed out on these end bit so they're really straight. I'm gonna go again. So I'm gonna try to position it so I get all those hairs at the end. Ah, it's so hot. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I almost fried my eyelid. Okay. I wanna get close but not blinding close. Squeeze, 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 turning it upwards. Oops. This is the first time I've ever done this but I've over curled my lashes. Can you see? It's like a very intense C curl. It's almost like an O, because it's gonna like curl back on itself. Okay, that's better. Can you see? I'm actually really impressed with this. This was actually really expensive. I think it was like 30 or 40 dollars or 40,000 won. Something like that. It was obviously the most expensive eyelash curler that they had at Olive Young, but I think there's also cheaper versions out there. So if you guys wanna like, check out something like this. I feel like AliExpress will have this. You know what I mean? Oh, it says made in Korea though. Maybe that's what I'm paying for. <laughs> the safety. <laughs> if I bought it from China, I don't know. I actually might like burn my eyelids. Now I'm gonna go in with a gel liner. These ones are for the Extreme Gel Presso Pencil Liner from Clio. I got two shades. Basically, I got like a lighter brown and a darker brown. So I'm actually gonna use the lighter brown first and just use that to line my eyes and then just kind of drag it out like that. It gives me a bit of a sharper line. And because I've curled my lashes, I can see my waterline a little bit better. Now, why I got these pencil ones is because it's actually waterproof and smudge proof. Usually when I use pencil liners, they just transfer, but I read some reviews about this and saw some videos and 
a lot of makeup artists recommend this I'm also gonna just use this color to extend the inner corner of my eye slightly and then just a little bit on the outer corner then grab the darker brown and just use that more on like the waterline is when I don't want it to be smudge proof and water proof uh, oh no it's set oh no god damn it I'm trying to keep it professional guys but my shaky hands that coffee that double shot I should not got that double shot I'm just gonna try to fix this up oh my god oh my oh my god give me give me five minutes I will be back I fixed it I saved my eye makeup but let's just be careful with this now, Tina. That's my liner done for this side. Let me just do this one off camera. When I got my makeup done in Korea, a lot of the makeup artists cut up a strip lash and use them as individuals to stick them on. So I'm gonna kind of do something like that, but it's a little bit tedious sticking individual lashes on. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm using Cotton Cloud from my brand, The Petite Club. This is a very natural style. It's great for every day. And what I've just done is cut them into little segments. So there's five pieces. Her eye. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of lash glue. So I'm just using tweezers to pick up that little cluster and just dip a little bit of glue on the band. And I'm actually going to apply this underneath my natural lashes, just on the root of my lashes, not really on the skin. And then just stick them in place. When you apply the false lashes underneath your lashes, it pretty much gives you that look of eyelash extensions. But of course, it's a lot cheaper and a lot quicker to do. Then once you've got all the clusters in place, I'm gonna grab my tweezer to just sandwich my natural lashes and the falsies together. And then you can just use your finger to just press and lift the lashes up. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara on top. I got a new one, the Kill Lash Mascara from Clio. I feel like I bought a lot of makeup products from Clio. It's because I love their products so much. And especially when it comes to eye products, they're really good with the formulas. So this one is the Superproof Mascara in Volume Curling. It's good for spacing out the lashes to create like really defined individual pieces. Well, at least that's what I've read. So let's try. I'm going to just apply a little bit on the ends. And the wand is like, I guess like a bullet shape. It's very thin. So great for creating that definition. I'm just using the mascara to blend in my lashes. I'm going to apply it on my lower lashes as well. Whoa. I'm going to apply the mascara on my natural lashes on this side before applying the falsy so you guys can see like what it truly looks like on natural lashes. So you can see here, this is what it looks like. I think it did a pretty good job just defining each of the hairs. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison with lashes and without lashes on my natural hairs. So that's my eyes done. Let's move on to contour. I got this new shading palette from Daisic. It's called the V-Cut Blending Shading. And there was this promo where you can get this little free brush when you buy the palette. So this palette has three blendable shades that you can use for contouring. I'm just gonna mix them all up and kind of create my own mashup. I'm just gonna use it to lightly contour the sides of my nose starting from the brows and then just pulling it down it gives me a really natural soft finish i guess because the colors aren't like too too intense if you know what i mean and then i'm gonna just blend them all together and then just kind of softly blend that on the edges so contoured side not contoured side. We sure it's actually pretty good. I love that it's like a cool brown, so it actually looks like your shadow. Because when you use warmer browns, it just looks more like bronzer, not like an actual natural shadow. Done. Love it. Yes. Blush time. Look how cute this blush is. It's from Etude House, Etude House. I always, I always forget the pronunciation of that. Etude House. This is their Heart Cookie Blush. It's so cute because it comes with a little puff. This shade that I got is Pink Salt. So it's like a matte powder blush. And apparently it helps to absorb the oils on your skin. And you kind of see, actually, I don't know if you can see, but I can see that I'm getting a little bit oily because of the hot light. But hopefully this will just absorb it. Oh, it 
it's actually really nice. Wow, it's just sucked up all my oil. Can you see the difference? There's like sheen and a little bit of shine there. And then here it's just absorbed the oil. Okay, let's just do it this side real quick. Using the puff is actually so handy. It doesn't disrupt the base underneath and I can just build up the blush and the pigment. Then I'm gonna use this blush. It's from Hints and it is called, what are you called? True Dimension Glow Cheek in the shade Mellow. So this is like a highlighter merged with blush. It's got a little bit of that rosiness mixed with highlighter. Just a little bit of that, oh, it's nice. On top of my cheekbone, add some life back into my cheek. <laughs> Now let's finish off with lips. I'm just gonna remove like whatever's left of that Laneige lip treatment. Lips feel well prepped, that's good. But to be honest, I feel like my lip just absorbed all of that lip balm. Check out this cool packaging. This is from a brand called Muzige Mansion. Muge, Muzige? Muzige. 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 Muzige Mansion. I feel like that's how a Korean would pronounce it. So this is like a glowy lip tint. I got the shade number six. Formula feels hydrating. It doesn't feel sticky. It's got a nice glossy sheen. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more and do a second layer. Okay, lips on. My hairs are in place. This is my final look. What do you guys think? If I'm just being honest, I have not felt this cute in a long time. Well, besides my makeovers that I got professionals to do in Korea. Okay, but obviously you can't get everything, but if I had to choose my top three products, gosh, that's a tough job. I should have said five. Can I make it four, top four? Top five, top five, okay? Top five, I feel like that's more achievable, top five. Why did I have to go? out and do such a great haul. Banana eye cream. Yes, concealer and eye cream in one. Definitely a hit. Scary heated eyelash curler. Yes, a little bit scary, but the results are pretty good. The clear eyebrow pencil. Love this unique shape. I love how versatile it is. The heart cookie blush. I am just a sucker for packaging, but I also really like applying the blush with the little puff. I really like the icy glow lip tint. It stains your lips, so it's gonna be long wearing. And the color that I got, I feel like my personal color analyst, Ginny, will be proud because this was one of the shades she recommended. If you guys haven't seen that video already, do check it out. I'll leave the link up somewhere here. So that's it to this K-Beauty haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do check out my other videos if you haven't already and subscribe, join the family, join the Discord as well. I'll leave the link below. I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye. I'm just really good at these hauls. It's because I do a lot of research. I ain't spending my money on crap. Oh, and obviously my lashes. Gotta get my lashes. Use code TINA20.